Hiya! Today I'm going to be talking about how us here in Suffolk do tend to shorten our words and that can sometimes lead on to shortening an entire sentence and we know exactly what it means but sometimes to the untrained ear they might not know what we're talking about. So the first one that I'm going to mention is the fact that we tend to say un instead of ing. So for example if you're going shopping or you're going walking or you're going to do some drawing then us here in Suffolk do tend to say we're going shopping, we're going walking, we're going to do some drawing, notes I say gonna, um, we're going to do some drawing and even down to eating, drinking, sleeping, anything like that will be shortened to a un rather than a ing. And we also do that with other words such as shall not and must not. For shall not we say shan't as in I shan't do that or I shan't be going there. And the same thing with mant which is a very Suffolk word and mant means must not and we'll say you mant do that but we'll shorten it again with the that and take the th off it and say you mant do that or you mant do at mant do at to the untrained ear mant do at sounds like some country in out of Mongolia or something but it is a sentence that we use here all the time and we do that an awful lot with everything so if sometimes I say something or maybe you hear Suffolk people say something and you don't quite understand it if you try and elongate the sounds a bit then it makes more sense then so the whole you might do that is you must not do that and as I'm going to keep these short and snappy, I'll finish here and then I'll carry on with the series and I'll keep them all quite brief and quite short because I don't want to completely confuse all you people out there watching who want to understand what us Suffolk people are talking about and what our dialect involves. So I shall finish now and I shall see you again soon. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Bye. Bye.